Another life really started out its days way back in 1985 when I was introduced indirectly through a founder member of the T. Lawrence Society to Mr. Arthur Russell, who was Lawrence's closest companion during his time in the tank corps at Bovington in 1922-23. I attach here with uh, an extract from this interview which took place at the time. Whilst researching another book, I was fortunate enough to interview a man who had flown as a civilian pilot in the 1950s, Mr. Henry Coverley, who had met and transported Group Captain Sidney Smith, Lawrence's CO, whilst he was based at RAF Mount Batten in the 1920s. So, um, you said you knew Sidney Smith? Uh, you said you knew Sidney Yes. No, 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 Dealt with us moving from civil uniform down as far as look and then getting to our RF uniform right into war and defied the uh, flowers uh, uh, And um, he used to meet us usually in very late at night at the early hours in the morning, usually with large tumblers and he'd drink. He must have been getting out of it then, not he? must have been quite old by then. He must have been that more than he I suppose in his sixties, I don't know, I've got him, but I've got all the tapes about him. Did he meet his wife as well? Pardon? Did he meet his wife as well? No, I didn't know his wife. Oh, right. No, no, I didn't even know. But uh, he used to 
silos. I show you that on one occasion to UK. No, from local to side. But uh, Houston did the bit before the aircraft cut off. <laughs> but I used to stay at the airport at Luca for hours talking to her about it, uh, getting as much as I could out of him for her parcel short. Specifically about that Lawrence? Yes. Oh, really? But, but, but uh, he was in charge of not Lawrence, no. but Shaw. Yeah, right, yeah. And uh, it was a secret, of course. And nobody knew that Shaw was Lawrence in those days. That was down at, uh, at uh, Tapwater. Yeah. And um, I, as a fan of Lawrence's, I, I used to get the most extraordinary stories from him. Can you remember any of them? In the early hours of the morning. What? Can you remember any of them? Or? Yes. Oh, well, I don't remember the stories, of course. I'm not, nothing was dicked up, but he used to pass these bits on to us. Mm -hmm. But he was um, an extraordinary man. And uh, I was very interested in all that. I spent a lot of time in the Middle East. Really? After the canal zone flights were moved right down to Singapore. Flying more than we had bases right through the Middle East. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. 